With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, here the question is, a block is lying on an inclined plane which makes an angle 60 degree with the horizontal. If the coefficient of friction between the block and the plane is 0.25 and g is equal to 10 meter per second square, then the acceleration of the block when it moves along the plane will be. So here we have to find out the acceleration when it moves along the plane will be. So as per the question, as per the question, let's this is the inclined plane and it makes an angle theta with the horizontal plane. Okay. And here is the block. The block makes an angle theta with the horizontal plane. So in this direction, this is the this is the component of mg cos theta. Mg cos theta and in this direction, this is mg sin theta along the plane this is mg sin theta and here the acceleration is a and in this direction the frictional force if the block is moving as per the question block is lying on an inclined plane which makes an angle of 60 degree means here theta is equal to 60 degree if coefficient of friction between the block and the plane is this 0 0.25 then the acceleration of the block when it moves along the plane so along the plane means it moves towards the direction of mg sin theta and then it, and then there is the uh, action of frictional force in opposite direction so this is the f Okay, so along the inclined plane, so along the, along the inclined plane, inclined plane, mg sin theta, mg sin theta minus mu mg cos theta because mu mg is the frictional force. Okay, mu mg cos theta which is equal to ma. If, if the block is moving in a direction that is along the plane, uh, has, uh, having the acceleration A. Okay, and given is theta is equal to 60 degree, G is equal to 10 meter per second square, mu that is the coefficient of friction is 0 0.25. Okay, so this will be equal to, so this is actually mg sin theta minus frictional force is equal to m a. So frictional force f is equal to mu mg because we know that f is equal to mu into n coefficient of friction into normal force. So here the normal force that is acting in an upward direction. Okay, this is the normal force that is acting in an upward direction. So n is equal to your mu mg cos theta because normal force is equal to mg cos, cos theta. So this is equal to mu mg cos theta. So mg sin theta minus mu mg cos theta is equal to m a. But the the equation should be mg sin theta mg sin theta minus f is equal to m a. So if we put the value f, then you will get mu mg cos theta equal to m a. So from this from this we can calculate acceleration so here if we common f then both the side f will be m will be cancelled out okay so finally g sin theta g sin theta minus mu g cos theta is equal to a okay so if we common g then we will get g into sin theta minus mu cos theta so here theta is equal to 60 degree so this will be equal to the value of g is 10 and sin theta sin 60 is the root 3 by 2 and the value of mu is 0 0.25 0 0.25 into cos 60 is the 1 by 2 okay so finally we will get 10 into this is root the value of root 3 is 1.7 minus this is 0 0.25 divided by 2 okay so this is equal to 7.25 meter per second square this is the this is the value of acceleration okay so finally the acceleration of the block when it moves along the plane will be 7.25 meter per second square option number 3 is the correct thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today